Hello everybody and welcome to FFG Live. Coming at you with some Star Wars Legion today. Mm -hmm. We got uh, some special stuff. It's Star Wars Legion Day all around today. We it just is. actually posted the Phase 2 Clone Trooper preview. Yeah. See that not anyways. even an hour ago, yeah. Wow. So, I am BK, this is Luke Eddy. We've got Nathan Sullivan over here. Hello. The illustrious Matt Holland over here on my right. Mm, I'll say yeah. this. <laughs> Infamous. Yeah, the infamous, illustrious, one of those. Whatever we'll, you want to call it. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out as we go along here. So, we posted Phase 2 Clone Trooper preview about an hour ago. We're also going to hit you guys with some tanks today. Ooh. Yep, we're going to do a little skirmish game. We're playing on the Solist board, this great Solist board. Uh, mm -hmm. The a Republic Patrol, perhaps, mm -hmm. just going out on Solist, and uh, there's probably nothing out there for them. To yeah, find there's, there's nothing out there. Rare plants, they got to check on them. Yep, yeah, and yeah. oh, maybe there's it just there's an AT transformation no, tank. There's an yeah. old, older gentleman, <laughs> yeah. you know, strolling out. Yeah, yeah. Just out let's for go a see walk. what he's doing yep. in the lava fields. Yeah, yeah. So before we kind of review the lists a little bit, let's go over here. Let Luke. Hi. Yeah, tell us a little bit about these tanks. Oh man. Well, so uh, those tanks are some big boys. They are indeed. Yes. Uh, as you can see, they're on the table. We've got. They're really cool models. Uh, they're uh, the largest ones we have ever done. Mm -hmm. That's um, awesome. They're on some big bases, uh, 150 millimeters. Uh, that fits within range one, so nice. you can yep. still deploy you can them still within do it, you yeah. know, range one to Make it work a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're both repulsors, so they can move over a lot of terrain, so that helps. Um, but uh, yeah, they've got a lot of customizable options. Um, the uh, mm. Saber Tank has um, pods that open up on the sides of its sponsons that you can put little missiles in. Which and looks it very cool. Appropriately yeah. has that as an upgrade slot. It's a new type of upgrade called Ordnance. Uh, the AAT and the Saber Tank uh, both have that slot, and there's three Ordnance upgrade cards that are on each of them. And I think we're going to see... Uh, you've got one. I've yeah. got yeah. armor-piercing shells. Yes. Nice. Right. The uh, Saber Tank also has um, a turret on top, and uh, you can assemble your mini uh, without it or with two different options and those are both also upgrade cards and we're going to have one of those equipped so you'll get to see some ordnance and a what is it called the uh, beam cannon turret yeah not a beam cannon a beam cannon beam. Yeah. Like M. Yeah. with an m at the end yes <laughs> so uh yeah they're pretty pretty dope models i'm excited for them to come out they're really um, cool looking you can put uh, speaking of customizability you can put a clone gunner on the top if you want um, there's also a battle droid uh, commander for the top of the AAT. You can assemble it with or without him. 
So yeah, some cool stuff. And uh, I mean, obviously these are the first heavy units for the Republic and the Separatists. Yes, they are. Um, besides, you know, just slamming targets with fire. <laughs> You already talked about a couple of different like customization options you can throw in there. Like, mm -hmm. what can we kind of expect to see? Maybe how these would fit into some lists. Hmm. So uh, on a smaller, or we're going to play skirmish, by the way. We're playing. Yeah, we're playing skirmish today. So <laughs> as you can see, yeah. they do fit into a skirmish army, yeah. although you're not left with a lot of other yeah. rooms. So they need to do some work, but that's good because uh, with range, their main weapons are range four, so they can immediately start attacking. Um, generally, in a 800 point list. That's what's sort of, uh, oh, that's another heavy. Where, yeah. um, in an 800 point list, um, you'd have more space to work with. You'd probably have, you know, one of these, a commander, and then probably fill out your core units as much as you mm -hmm. can, um, just to have those extra bodies on the field. Um, I did notice it's a very tight building skirmish list. Yes. Very tight, yes. yes. Now, yeah. however, it doesn't um, come when you're bad at math like me. <laughs> uh, if you, uh, on the um, Republic side, if you opt for taking um, Rex, mm -hmm. Clone Commander Rex, instead of Obi Wan, um, you could actually probably run two of those tanks in an 800 mm -hmm. point format. Yeah. Very true. And that'd be very scary to mm -hmm. have two of those. Um, so, with these tanks coming out, uh, and they're pretty aggressively priced point wise at uh, 170 each, and they pack a punch. Um, you're going to want to maybe, if you're not running other, one of these, look at including some more anti-armor. Perhaps some um, yeah. HH-12s oh, yeah. or Ion or even another vehicle. Uh, both of these vehicles, of course, uh, like the other heavy vehicles, are pretty good counters to other heavy vehicles. Um, I think uh, this has impact one? Yes. No, critical two. one, impact two, and that one has impact critical one, two, critical two. Impact one. Exactly. So uh, yeah, yeah. I think they'll be a good, good for the meta. Add some vehicles in, as you said. They're the first heavies for these new factions, so that's awesome. And they Very cool minis. No, no. They're an awesome centerpiece for your army. So, yeah. and as you were saying, uh, in the skirmish game, take up a lot of the points for your list. So let's uh, let's actually take a look at what we've got over here. So Nate has mm -hmm. the saber class fighter tank. What else you got going on? You don't have a ton of room for upgrades over there, do you? No, Nate? not a yeah. lot. I threw uh, most of my upgrades. I threw on the tank itself. I've got that uh, beam cannon turret. I'm very excited about mm -hmm. uh, to be able to use that. And hopefully, we'll see that in just a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I've also got a uh, veteran clone pilot mm -hmm. manning that, and I've got the linked targeting array. A very on good there. upgrade. All right. Yeah. And, and that's that, that. Those are all your upgrades. That's it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> you just have two regular Phase One clone trooper Correct. units and Obi Wan Kenobi. Correct. Can you name three cards in the tray. Yeah. There sure. No. Yes. The card tray. Yep. Here we go. So, uh, let's yeah. Let's, let's yeah. see some of these fancy new cards. All right, yeah, so uh, what, which one of the, I mean, we got a lot of cool upgrades. Which mm -hmm. one of the ones that Nate has on his tank would you say you're the most excited about there, Luke? Mm, uh, the beam cannon. The beam cannon, yeah. Tell us a little about the beam cannon. Uh, yeah, so it has great. a new keyword uh, beam on it. I believe the cannon is beam, oh, you got to remind me if it's oh, two or yeah. three. I think it's beam, beam two. two. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so what that means is um, that after you make an attack with this weapon, uh, oh, we're going to adjust them so you guys can see them better. There we go. All right, so after you make an attack with a weapon that has the beam keyword, mm -hmm. because the beam is just like a laser, like you remember the lance that shoot out just that constant beam and yes. like sweep yeah. through battle jars yeah. and cut up a bunch of them? That's no, what this is. I'm not is. a big fan of that. Oh, well, <laughs> I got bad news for you. So if you've ever played one of the original Battlefront video games, you'll know that this uh, tank also has that weapon. And the way it works is after you make an attack uh, that includes this weapon, you get to make X additional attacks with that weapon. Uh, well, X being X equal to the beam value. Those attacks are only made with the beam weapon. Yeah. Uh, two red dice. Yeah, pretty two, good. Two red dice, pretty dang good. That's so essentially three attacks that you get to make with that uh, that weapon. So it's a great way to spread out a whole bunch of suppression. Um, I'm gonna lie, feels a little bit broken to me. <laughs> well, but you're right. You don't really care about suppression yeah, that much. You're gonna right? be fine. You can't be suppressed. No worrying about it. Uh, but yeah, so that one's super cool. That one's fun. Really and because the tank has Arsenal 2, that first attack you can combine with its main guns for a pretty powerful hit and then beam, you know, that sweep that laser yeah, across and hit another up. two targets. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. So please put Dooku a little closer to those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah just stand just them near each right other. Yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> I should say um, the extra attacks are made at range one of whatever was the last unit that mm -hmm. defended. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're, you know, chaining from yeah. unit to unit. Makes sense. Um, and those extra attacks can be made beyond the range on the weapon. 
So the first attack has to be range 1 to 4, that's what's printed on yeah. the card. Uh, but then the next attack, as long as the, the new defender is at range 1 of the previous defender, it doesn't matter if that's beyond range 4. So you can just four. keep going back exactly. and back. Keep, yeah. yeah, because it's a, it's a very long range weapon. Yeah. So yeah, as long as you can line up those targets, you can hit them with that beam. That's cool, pretty cool, yeah. All right. So yeah, and then I think uh, we might as well talk about the veteran uh, clone yeah, pilot. Yeah, well, yeah. He's very cool and very good. Uh, as people have played the clones know uh, now, their main feature is sharing tokens amongst mm -hmm. each other, sharing those green tokens. So the veteran clone pilot gives a little bit of that flavor to the tank. Mm -hmm. um, so once during a round, you and one of, you and another unit can share each other's tokens when one of you is attacking or defending. So uh, once. If the, say, the saber tank is attacking, it can use the aim token of a trooper. Or if, say, the saber tank aimed and didn't use it, later another clone trooper could use that aim instead. That's great. Um, the other thing that's interesting is uh, dodges are just as useful. Mm -hmm. Normally, yeah. dodges are not very valuable on a unit with armor as a keyword because armor blocks hits anyways. Mm -hmm. But the tank has the outmaneuver keyword because it's... So it's the starfighter of, yes, of tanks. The, of the ground. I was gonna say I'm gonna say of the ground, but tanks is better. It's a starfighter of tanks. Um, so it's very fast and maneuverable, and it can spend dodge tokens to cancel crit results. Great. So it actually wants those dodge tokens sometimes. Absolutely. So there's yeah. some synergy there. Mm -hmm. And there's maybe some other upgrades that help you get dodge tokens that will be coming yeah. in a couple weeks, everybody. <laughs> yes, true. We've got some uh, pre full preview articles of the tanks, but we're giving you a nice little glimpse today. Mm -hmm. We'll um, just say Plo Koon is very good at pilot. Yes, but Plo Koon, very, you know, the force helps you pilot a tank a little Turns bit. Turns out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's what we got there. All right, and let's go over to talk to Mr. Holland, what you have going on over here. Well. Two squads of battle droids. Mm -hmm. yep. Count Dooku with Force Choke, and because of my error in math, I actually have the points to do the thing that lets me get the dodge every turn, too. Oh, so nice. imagine okay. that's right here. Yeah, oh, right. okay. I'm still going to be under. We're just but... supposed to imagine it's there. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. Convenient. All right, man. Yes. Okay. I'm organized. Your play. I am making a one time <laughs> exception <laughs> every organized to the play, tournament yeah. rules. You get one, you get, everybody so gets one. One time exception. <laughs> I'm allowed to not okay. have the card. All right. And then I've got the tank with armor piercing shells, which are the ordnance that are yeah. fired out of those nice. Ports at the bottom, and I've also got the link targeting array because it seemed like a pretty good pick it's up good. Yeah, for it's, a tank. It's all right. All right. Five yeah. points, I get a dot, an aim token when I get issued an order. Which you're normally going to get issued orders, that Seems thing? pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so um, those uh, shells are brand new. People mm -hmm. haven't seen those before. Yep, for the tanks here. Uh, yeah, and they have a fun new keyword on them called uh, cycle. So yeah, even so though they exhaust. You use it and exhaust, and then the, if the next turn you don't use it, it readies automatically. Exactly. It's pretty yeah. cool. Now, of course, you can still take a recover action to ready it, yes. so you can fire it every turn if you want. Yep. But, you know, if you pause and let your internal, you know, I am a loading mechanisms yes. reload your torpedo tubes. I always loved I this vehicle because the uh, cross sections from Phantom Menace had we, such uh, cool art of yes. the yeah. internal you know, mechanism of those. We used that launches. as our reference for making these. There so you know. if you look at closely at the art there of that torpedo, that is the armor producing torpedo from that cross sections book? Oh, that's that. so cool. there we go. The yeah. attention to detail. Well, behind the scenes here. Well, behind yeah. the scenes. Yeah. yeah, no, those cross reference, uh, cross sections, and like visual dictionary books so cool. are very helpful for what we do. Yes. Love those things. So that is my squad, pretty bare bones other than this tank, because it's taken up between him and Dooku. That's a lot of points. Some expensive boys. In the bag. And just to clarify, we do have. We have a couple minis out here for the eagle-eyed viewers <laughs> from the upcoming, actually next Friday, yeah. mm. the upgrade expansions for the core mm. units. Yeah, so um, uh, this is not actually a radiation the, cannon trooper. Yep, yep. That's just these regular E5s. That's, more that's, bodies that's not me. actually a Matt security shooting again. Yep. So much cheating. Unlimited yeah. power. <laughs> oh, you want to up close? There you go. We also have this little guy pointing here. Little yeah. unit leader is pretty cool. Huh. He's pointing at what you're going to do. Oh. What happened to our guy? Um, cool. So yeah, got some bad droids, got some clone troopers. Oh yeah, let me throw that right down there, Nate. Here, do you this guy it? too. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Oh, where we yeah. oh, Right in front of the tank yeah. there, yep. There you go. You show off those new sculpts. Yeah, so those are coming in the um, upgrade trooper, yeah. trooper trooper upgrades. Upgrades. Yeah. So next Friday, Friday, yeah. Do you have any clone ones mixed in that are those? No, I oh, obeyed okay. the rules. Nah, yeah. Oh, I did. I see. <laughs> mm. yeah. You casual. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, so 
I think we're pretty ready to go. Let's throw those battle cards back in the uh, yeah, dice yeah. tray there just yeah, to show what's going in. on. And get my squad so we have, assembled. Yeah, talk yeah. us through those. Yep, we have pretty much everything deployed except for the tanks. We're going to put the tanks uh, back in these kind of corners here. Uh, and this in just, this corner. Yep. Yeah, in this <laughs> corner, the TX-130 Saber class fighter tank. Guardian of the Republic. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and so this little skirmish just happens to be taking place at dawn mm -hmm. on Solist, which means during the first round, no attacks beyond, you no heard, ranged attacks beyond range two. You've heard mm. pistols at dawn. This yep. is a slight escalation. It's no pistols main battle at dawn. tanks at dawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the first round, you're going to have a little bit of time to get in position. Mm -hmm. uh, Nate, you might want to get some of your clones uh, uh, into cover. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. This like battle droids might have to do a little scrambling. Uh, no, I think no. we plan so the tank can actually fit through there, just because the board is a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Crazy. And in fact, actually, important point. Um, so these tanks have Repulsive. the. Um, yes. Cover? Well, they have the hover keyword, which is a new keyword that means that they're treated as ground vehicles, uh, but only by other units. So the ground vehicle rules are sure. you can't move through them, they can't move other, through other ground vehicles, they displace things. Um, however, they're still technically repulsors, um, and even though they don't have speeder one and completely ignore terrain that's height one or lower, um, if you look at the uh, train rules in the rules reference guide, you can see that just by default, uh, repulsor vehicles are able to move over a lot of types of terrain unimpeded. So the tank should have no problem just going right through there. I highly recommend if you don't want to look these things up in the rules, just play with a developer <laughs> if you're yeah, watching yeah. it. Yep. Mm, that that seems like <laughs> Because uh, I will beg uh, forgiveness for any mistakes or just efficiencies in my play. I'll yeah. just people playing, just call me up. And because uh, uh, you know, with the with the kid at home and everything, I my involvement, involvement in Legion has been more hobby based so far. Mm -hmm. Not as many games as I would maybe like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you guys at home are mashing your keyboards because I made a bad move, <laughs> forgive me. Well, and I do just want to say that actually, uh, you did a very you did the correct thing, which is at the start of the game, just talk to your opponent about the train. It'd be like, exactly. Hey, yeah. is that okay if that does that? Yep. Because that is the main rule to follow for Legion. Train. It's just agree on it ahead of time, so yep. you're all on the same page. Yep. Because, you know, it's a three-dimensional space, people are going to have different boards, mm -hmm. there are different elements. So yeah, it's weird stuff like, you know, oh, this is a great, are we playing that as solid, are we playing that as right, you know, light yeah, cover, you heavy know. cover, any number of Or things. you might have stairs or ladders, and you're like, oh, can I just climb up that? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, why know. not? Yeah, exactly. Cool. Um, right. Do you want to say a little bit about, just for people who don't know, about this skirmish format? Oh, yeah. So we actually, a couple months ago, we introduced the skirmish format, which is a 500 point format mm -hmm. that takes place on a three by three uh, piece of terrain or board. Mm -hmm. um, just a, a nice way to start playing around with the rules of Legion. You mm -hmm. don't have to mm -hmm. fill out that army. You can, it's a nice way to like experiment with some units, yeah. like tanks perhaps. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, 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 having played it many times, it still feels like a Legion game. Yeah. Things just mm -hmm. happen a little sooner and exactly, you yeah. don't need quite as much space. And it's not quite as much of a like grand sort of, you know, you get that narrative experience of these guys here doing that against these guys here doing that, and this little thing is going on over here. It's more concentrated into one area. Mm -hmm. uh, but those uh, cards are available for free online yep. on our website. You can just print them out and cut them up. Yeah, and actually I think the last card that we haven't gone over is the, the objective card. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, yeah. So we have this computer terminal right here in the middle of the board. Mm. Uh, and like you do. It's you, sending transmissions. It is sending transmissions. Beep, beep, boop. And everybody is... Well, both of you gentlemen are going to try and get uh, your unit leaders within range one of that because mm -hmm. rounds two through four, uh, the person who has who controls it, or the person who has the most unit leaders within range one of it, mm -hmm. is going to get one victory token at the end of the game. So after round five, whoever controls it is going to get two victory tokens. Mm. So it's, uh, it's going to get. I heard that uh, that's yeah. actually transmitting clone, you know, the next Clone Wars season early. That's Ooh, you think so? Yeah. Wow! Yeah, All right, that's why you got to get, get on there. Now, yeah. Be the first one to see. All right, so sounds good. Be a spirited fight, then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, you guys are all deployed already, as we said. So um, I think you guys can just go right into your command phase. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, minor note. So no shots outside of range two. Right. Exactly. Yes. No shots beyond range two. Important to remember. Don't much like that. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Actually, you know, this was. Brian chose those cards. I did. So. I did choose these cards. This was this is my fault. <laughs> you know what? I just wanted uh, everyone, everybody to go towards email. the middle of the board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, when you are playing skirmish, it is uh, five rounds instead of six. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna 
My jump into the That's like ground. a nice little convenient like card, yeah, card well, placing kind of spot nice, right yeah. there. We did that on purpose. Wow. Yeah. This is how Obi Wan learns the value of high ground. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. What do you got? And lava. Yeah. <laughs> Push. Standing orders. Ooh, all, right, all right. Thought about the standing orders myself. But Put them in the tray, guys. Yep. Push. Do you want us to just move the old ones out? Yes, please. Uh, while you're at it, Nate, can yeah. you just check is the objective at or within range? Ooh, that's a good point. Yep. Thank you. To be fair, I don't remember. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh. At the end of rounds two and four, each player gains one victory point if they control the objective marker. Mm -hmm. A player controls the objective token if they are, have more than one unit later at range at one. Range at range one. So okay. you need to be fully within, which would be real hard with a tank or Oh, right, or true. Yes, like yes that. and that's important. It's not a trooper unit leader, it's just unit leader. Mm -hmm. So the tanks count. So getting those tanks up there at range one. Mm -hmm. So I'll issue two orders. Mm -hmm. And if I issue to the this guy the coordinate... Coordinate. We'll also pass to this guy. Right yeah. there. And then I was a big mystery. Yeah. Oh, what's, what's, what's the last one in my pool? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. And I'm sure some people will probably notice at home, uh, we don't actually have uh, production copies of the, the command heavy. tokens for the Republican Separatist Heavy, so we're just using supports today yeah. for yeah. the tanks. Just. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Everybody good? Yep. You have priority, sir. Your activation first. Now, uh, yeah, do we have any questions? Yeah, so let me like pop into chat here and just yeah, see what questions have, you guys might we'll have. Give you a minute there. So, um, so Luke, two, since yes. the launch of the game, we had you know, ATSD. We've had a few vehicles come yes. out since then. So yes, we have. What were some, did you kind of take any lessons learned from those vehicles when designing the Republican Separatist tanks? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I've said this on stream before, and I think it's great to reiterate. Um, so as people who follow um, our changes to the rules reference or play move out. Um, at tournaments, uh, no, uh, we reduced the uh, points cost of some units, and that's not um, it's not an errata. There's a list in the rules reference of points changes, and that's something that um, we're planning on roughly uh, addressing uh, annually. Just be like, oh, what things you know should maybe come down, what things maybe should come up a little bit, just to sort of um, balance the meta sometimes, um, mm -hmm. give some units that may be being underplayed more mm -hmm. of a chance. Uh, and two of the things that were reduced in cost were the original heavy vehicles for the Rebels and Imperials, the Snowspeeder and the ATSD. Now, those units are very powerful on paper, but um, what we found, you know, as we got into, you know, the life of the game with, with you know, a, a lot of content out and, um, you know, more experience under our belts is just that um, there is sort of a, a diminishing returns of, of how good something is versus how much points it costs. Um, like on paper, if you were to hypothetically like add up all of the like costs of the abilities and costs of something stats, um, you're going to get you know a very large number. But uh, there's a sort of ineffable cool, opportunity cool cost there. of taking one unit versus several small units. Mm -hmm. And so um, to offset that, it actually needs to not just be like a straight like graph, sure, or, yeah. you know, line of increasing cost. Um, it needs to taper off where. Um, you know, for example, you know, uh, these were cost at 170 and, you know, if you were to hypothetically go like, you know, what is the value of each individual thing it can do, hmm. probably be worth more than that. But at 170, that's going to take up like three gray coordinates. morning twilights. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you don't get to shoot. And the number of activations that cuts into, um, how many, like for example, so... this one here. How many units you can have controlling the center point? Let's see point. if I can do you dirty. Um, yeah. Or also, how much do you have control over when your things activate and around? If there's something you're trying to delay, having more units than your opponent is a bit of an advantage. Sure. sure. Yeah. yeah. So there was that was the biggest takeaway I think that we got uh, when we got to the point of designing these vehicles versus earlier ones is um, just a bit of that. Um, oh, nice. Did you just move, move speed two? Yeah. Is it speed two? Yeah. Oh shit. No, it's speed one. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Man. Dang it. See? Cheating. Yeah. You already used your one, man. Yeah. yeah. Man. man. I meant one per turn. Anyways, oh. <laughs> I've rambled on enough about <laughs> designing heavy vehicles. Uh, what else we got? Um, I think I could actually answer this next one about uh, oh. the street date Look for that. the tanks yeah. and the, yeah. the next Ooh. core units. Yeah. Um, ooh. So are we going to see an attack here? We're, we're not just going to see an attack. 
We're gonna see because I got Arsenal two. Oh, Ooh, you got, okay, you're gonna see a big attack. You're gonna unload some torpedoes. I got armor piercing shells. Ooh, okay, all right. And so. my MX eight artillery laser cannon. Yes. Wow. Okay. So everybody, we don't have set street dates for the tanks or the phase two and B twos quite yet. Um, all of them are still scheduled for the first quarter of 2020. In there, so right? you can yeah. expect them yes. in the next couple months. Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily know if they're going to be oh. on this exact same date or not. And I do have right. an aim. They token. should be out. Because I was hopefully issued by order. the end of March. Yeah, and we're getting <laughs> oh, sure. a bit of a bit of a glut of a whole bunch of things out at once yes. right now yes. in January. So you know we. Um, so you want to give some things some time. Crit. People it's gonna give time for people to buy so things. Exactly. exactly. Yes. Release the next. What time. do I have? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've got. Yeah. Impact what are you one, doing? So one hit's That's gonna so go to a crits, crit, right? Okay. Correct. Um, it was impact one. one. Impact no, one. impact. Uh, yeah. In, yeah. Impact so, one. So yeah, that's yeah. fine. So I can reroll two with my aim. Yes, because black is the better. Uh, good. No, no, red, red is, red is, is better. better. What to do? No. Oh, it doesn't matter for crits though. There's only one crit on any die. Sure, but it could <laughs> be. Um... There's also only one surge on any die. So yeah. if you're bowling for crits, as oh, I've also say, got impact. Doesn't matter what die you. I've got roll. impact four actually, right between oh, my the goodness. Yeah, <laughs> the anti armor. Yeah. So. Yeah, because that. We'll just reroll the one. The impact shells is. There we go. All right. Impact four. So, yeah. Uh, the shells are three. Crit, crit. Crit, crit. Oh, man. So, that's seven a... crits? Wow. All right. We're going to wrap up this tank battle <laughs> real quick. Yeah. <laughs> that seems okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, seven crits. Huh. And it you is got anything else? exhausted here. Okay. We gotta watch this guy. He's Critical yeah, two. Yes. Was that a legitimate roll? I didn't see it. <laughs> I, didn't, I did it. <laughs> I feel like he just put those results yeah, in the good. tray. Yeah. We're good. All right. Like well, that. There All right. you go, Nathan. I have good news for you. <laughs> Legendary yeah. Holland dice load. Well, the good news is that the tanks roll red on defense. Okay. Yep. I All have right. nine health. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you're not gonna, so not gonna blow up blink, right away. You're not gonna die. <laughs> yeah. First of all, even if you blink up completely, you won't die. Yeah. You're fine. All right. It's How still, still a bad day. Seven. You get seven red dice now. Do you need some more defense dice? I got them. I've got them. I've got them. I'm good. I don't need any help from you. That is, that is a bad sign when your opponent asks you if you need more defense dice. Yeah, that's a... Oh, okay. yeah, that's okay. Good. So, yeah. four in defensive surge, or...? Uh, this nope. does not have a surge, correct? No. Yeah. That would be crazy. Yeah. yeah. So, three? Yeah, three. That is statistically average. I will take it. <laughs> Can you hand me some of the damage? Oh, sure. Give me one of them three here. spots right there. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. I'll just set that on the card here. Nice. Uh, I did spend my aim. I did my move and my attack. So that's the tank done. All right. Grab from the top here. All right. I didn't even have to cheat and use range or two, two speed to do that. Yeah. Yeah, you're still fine. Now, the saber tank, that's speed two. It, it is. is. The starfighter of tanks. Yeah. yeah. Moves very quickly. Mm -hmm. Uh, Luke, how do the tanks move along the movement template? Do they move like a repulsor or a ground vehicle? Um, what are the rules there? How do they dis displace things? <laughs> uh, so, everything moves along the template the same, in that the uh, when you move from a position to another position, you're moving along the template, and Just your movement along happens. that template must be unimpeded. Um, so, in that respect, um, all vehicles move the same. Um, yeah. Troopers, too. Everything moves that way. Um, the difference being uh, between, I guess, ground vehicles and repulsor vehicles, even without any other keywords being involved, is, like I was mentioning before, um, there are um, a lot of types of terrain yeah. that repulsor vehicles just can move through anyways, even without the speeder keyword. Um, like, if you look at the rules reference online, you'll see in the breakdown of types of terrain, um, you know, there's a lot that are just fine for repulsors. You got one. So, these tanks will naturally be able to move through a lot of stuff. However, they can't just completely ignore oh. something that is, <laughs> like, hit one. Yeah. I think you were probably behind cover there anyway, so I should have got canceled. <laughs> uh, it's true, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, I, yeah, I just, so just wanted to show specific. off the dice. Exactly, yeah. Dice yeah. Dice rolling skills, yeah. That was a, that was a <laughs> nice dodge there, yeah. <laughs> More specifically, I guess, so when Matt moved up with the AAT, right. he was back here, yeah. kind of probably went through where Dooku would have been. Uh -oh. Would he have displaced Dooku along the way? Or? That's cheating more. Okay. Yeah, Duke I think this just counts as a win for me, right? <laughs> the Republic just gets this Right, one. no, that is true. So he gets so shoved. Because you have the ground vehicle tree word, other oh. units treat you as a ground vehicle. Yes, not like yes. Cedar. So um, Dooku would be displaced 
can be picked up and moved by your opponent mm, within wow. range one. Okay. And he gets a suppression token. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, move him further in the back there. I want that old range man one? in his walking range stick one, yeah. away from me. I'm assuming you want him as far back as you can yeah. get. Yeah, no, I will say, off the board this is would the be first ideal. time these guys are playing yeah. these tanks, and, you know, as you play more, you would probably know not to put your troopers in front of your vehicle. That's going to be true. Or <laughs> and I am, perhaps, perhaps the legion. <laughs> or move your troopers. Admittedly, first. a filthy casual. I, I have to confess, I'm the same way. Um, I, like many minis players, like to assemble my minis, paint them, and then put them on a shelf so that they can mock me for not using yeah. this. Yeah. Just judging me silently. So we will take our sweet time and just activate Dooku. There we go. So I need to make a, a rally. Rally. It's white. Mm -hmm. Looking for defensive rolls. No. Oh, come no. on, dice. You're fine. Yeah. Don't let me down now. How much courage does he have? He's What's got the yell set? Three. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He don't he's care. Just doesn't, fine. doesn't matter to Dooku. So he's gonna move up. Yeah. And then he's gonna move up again. So I think that he'll be safe. All right. There's so a few Still viewers have noticed the that time. the tanks have little notches in the side of their bases. Oh yeah. They were pulsar vehicles. Mm -hmm. So how does movement uh, work going? They can straight. Yes. Dooku is Dunku. Dunzo. <laughs> um, yes, so strafing is a new ability that uh, these tanks have, uh, which lets them move side to side using those side notches and a speed one uh, movement tool. And you can adjust that tool too, so you can get into some interesting positions like this tank here if it wanted to could just strafe over this way or strafe over this way so this is the one i would strafe with right uh yeah the three yes yeah, exactly yeah. Mm -hmm. um only you matt and uh <laughs> strafing uh is similar rules wise to reversing so it reduces your speed by one okay by one or two one uh by one oh, so but it's a moot point for both of these for both because of these guys. he yes. by one to a minimum of one Sure. So it doesn't affect how fast that one moves, and this one would reduce it to one. So they both if strafe at they both strafe speed at speed three. One. Correct. Hover, you could. You would strafe at speed, speed two. Uh, Why gotta be like that, man? I don't think I've got him. Hold it, face face. Uh, hold it like uh, like that. That way, you definitely do. Is it over your guy? Then I I don't yeah. think you quite have enough. Ah, just off. All right. Here goes my attempt to be charitable. Did you just move once? Yes. Mm. I mean, what well, you can you can yeah, take your other true. action to like here, here. Uh, because this should be shorter. Like, yeah, that's that's I just think geometry. I think yeah. you got it. I think you got it. I'll take it. Yeah. I, I mostly just want to show off my rolls again. <laughs> so let's do it. All right. We have a suggestion for an upgrade here. The uh, the Matt Holland pilot upgrade, forty <laughs> points, <laughs> and the text on the card is, "You can do whatever you want." Oh yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I like that. <laughs> Any well. surges? Sir, uh, but only no, one moving. do not have surges. Only one moving, yes. Okay, so the cover just... <laughs> That'll eat that. Eats that. Uh, one suppression, then. Get a suppression. Not cool, man. Not cool. Oh, yeah, move Dooku's oh, suppression how does, up uh, how, does Dooku, well. how does Dooku yeah. feel about having been like, run over by that tank? It's yeah. in the lava. <laughs> I feel like tried to hide it. It's in the lava. I'm right? Yeah. All right, I've got just one option left. It is these robotic boys. Mm-hmm. They are speed two. I'm gonna double check everything now because everybody's a critic. <laughs> Come on. Now you're gonna have your own pilot upgrade card in this game. That's exciting, right? Yeah. And uh, by the way, just if people are wondering, we're not worrying about climbing and clambering on this terrain here. Yeah. Um, this terrain is very pretty. It's not. We always chose the... this board for th you know like aesthetic reasons. Yeah. So we're not gonna. It's also why you chose otherwise. me for the stream. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so uh, these guys can uh, hold it, hold it. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, oh yeah. So they got nothing special. It's just six gloriously six awful white, white, dice. white dice. A chance for Matt to show his quality. Hey. <laughs> like a fresh Minnesota. Snow. Roger. Oh, there Roger. We go. <laughs> Uh, it's been can't really complain about right? that. Yeah. It's so gross. Still it's can't not... complain in that exchange of no. dice. It's 
It's not nice in Minnesota right now. I just love the AAT model so much. It's it very cool. Very oh. nice looking. Painting that and like getting to experiment with weathering. And oh yeah, and it's like stuff. a it's nice flat, a like it has so much surface area. It's great for doing that. Unlike the burn marks coming out of the torpedo tube. Yeah, that kind of stuff is just, yeah. I think, really fun to mess with. Now, and the Sabre tank will be really fun because of how uh, many customization options there are. Yeah. So um, on this model, we don't have them open, but these pods on the side, um, oh, that's they can right, be yeah. assembled open up, and there's like missiles, missiles that you can have. Yeah. reminds me of a yeah. popular mm -hmm. 80s uh, military children's <laughs> toy. And like the missiles yeah. popping out of things yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, and then the turret on top too. Uh, since the turret is an upgrade, you can assemble it without. Sure. Mm -hmm. Then there's a, like a, a, a bit for the uh, twin laser, oh, and then there's another one for the beam cannon, and then of course, like we said, there's a, uh, a clone gunner who has both a phase one and a phase two helmet. That's right. So you can yeah. choose, so that goes with the rest of your army. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the clone gunner, that's actually a nice segue to the question that we have from the chat here. Mm -hmm. um, Matt chose fun. not to use any of the pilots for the AAT, no, but there didn't. are Mostly pilots for the Mostly the math skills. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's some pretty cool ones. So we don't actually have any of the cards, but Luke... We have an know? article coming. Though. We do have an article coming. Do you yeah. want to talk about maybe like one of the pilots so do the one for that, the AAT? Uh, we talked about that does the suppression. Mm. Oh, okay. Makes yeah. it yeah. suppression tokens on people. Uh, yeah, so well, yes. here, actually, yeah. I, I can one, give you... Uh, yeah, I'm good. So I'll just say what all three of them are just by titles. So. Yes, there we go. Yep. One, okay. one is a uh, OOM series... Uh, command droid okay. that is a for the yellow the tank. one, which is included right here. In the, yeah, yeah, exactly. Check it out. Yeah, so he gives you a little buff. The other is a T series tactical droid, which we see driving mm -hmm. the uh, the tank in the Clone Wars. Um, he gives you an interesting buff as well. Um, but the funnest one is the one organic pilot. Sorry. Yes. Who? Uh, uh, yes. Is named Lock Dirt. Uh, and if any of you are Clone Wars fans, you may know him from you season might be one. Familiar with him. He's yes. an Emoidian voiced by George Takei. And uh, he has a fun ability that he taps to give uh, your one of your weapons suppressive for your entire activation, mm -hmm. which is nice on the AAT because the AAT also has the barrage keyword, which, if it chooses not to use arsenal, can just double tap with its main gun for its whole activation. You get double suppression. Double mm -hmm. suppression double. Mm -hmm. That's uh, four suppression on one unit. Yep. So you can just basically sit back and shell with him yep. to just totally suppress something. Um, and that's a fun one. Yeah, Lock Dirt's mean. He's, he's very mean against any sort of army that obviously has organic guys and is relying on like action economy and that sort of thing. So mean against clones for sure, yeah. who have fewer units generally in an army and need those activations. Relentless. Yes. You can perform attack after moving? Yes. So Ranged or melee. With Arsenal, yes, you could perform both. Seems good. Seems good. <laughs> Seems good. It's, it's, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> Fear, surprise, intimidation. Ooh. Oh, nice. dice tray. I wouldn't want to throw in the dice tray there. Yeah. Ambush. Oh, Ooh. well, those are both one pips. Yeah, so what? What? it's what a roll doing? off. <gasps> So roll a, roll is there a, an OP rule of what color dice we should uh, roll? Yeah, you generally you just go with I win it, but... Except, yeah. except Mr. Eddie, Count Dooku is cunning. Oh, right! Yes. You have cunning. Oh, no. Yeah, you have cunning. Yeah. <laughs> cunning Matt Holland. What does cunning do? Sorry. I only play Dooku. So. You win ties when you play his cards. Yeah. So you, you both have ties. one pip. You, you win the tie. Right. Yeah. I'm going to go first. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> Uh, so nice. I issue my commander. Yeah, so he does have. These guys mm -hmm. all go face down. It is mm -hmm. a mystery. Mm -hmm. What could they be? What could happen? And then you get to do your one. Who are you going to give it to? Oh, the tank for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't forget get that, that aim token. Aim token. Oh, that's right, that's right. I got to give this sucker back. Matt, do you want to give uh, Matt, you wanna read, uh, exactly a uh, couple linked of dreams. targeting All ray. the great stuff yeah. that it does. Thanks. There it is. So I gain Arsenal 2 and Relentless, and each mm -hmm. of my ranged weapons gain Versatile. Yes. Which lets you use it. That's a whole lot of keywords. Yeah. What's yeah. So re just to, to run through them. Relentless. He, Dooku, can now perform an attack, ranged or melee, after moving. Arsenal means when he attacks, he can use two weapons. And Versatile means that any of his ranged weapons can be used even if he's in melee. So what you're going to want to do is, yeah, 
Hey, Obi-Wan. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hello there. So that's oh, here we go. One. General Kenobi. One action. Showdown that everybody wants to see. Uh, the second action will be to move in and with Relentless make an yeah, attack. Yes. yes. An attack with two weapons. With two oh, weapons. Yes. So what weapons do you have on your card? I have a lightsaber. Mm -hmm. I yep. also have Force Lightning. Ooh. I can target different things. Yes. And because your lightning now has versatile, you are allowed to ranged attack out of an engagement. Yes. So I could like force lightning some clones. Yes. Yes. Like well, yes. yeah. yeah, that seems pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's do the lightsaber attack on. I'm a big fan of the art on that card. Kenobi. Too. That's five reds. Impact two and pierce two. Mm -hmm. um, mm, and then he. Oh, has I can also. Makashi training. Yes. Or is it Makashi, or does he have... It's um, Makashi. I also have a uh, Force Choke, so I can Force Choke one of these dudes, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my so goodness. So within range one. Yeah. It's a bad day for these clones. So I'll Force Choke one of those guys, and I have the thing that gets me a dodge you that we just went like preparing. Yeah. We were pretending that I have. Come onto the stream, they said. It'll be fun, <laughs> they said. You're uh, so time right there. one of them dies. <laughs> Yeah, so this is Force Choke. You actually pick. You, you pick, yeah. It doesn't matter because there's no heavy weapons, yeah, but right. if there was, you could kill that I, You know what? In the spirit of sportsmanship and graciousness, I'll mm -hmm. let you choose. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. Yeah, but which one dies, though? Uh, you can go ahead and grab the Yeah, the I mean, there there's probably go. another one that's going to die here, so. Probably. Uh, Obi-Wan. This, is the, this is the lightsaber attack on Obi-Wan. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Does he convert? Yes, he does to a crit. Oh, my goodness. So four and a crit. All right. Uh, impact, impact two. Won't so matter. Because yep. he's immune impact. No, yeah, impact armor. only matters yeah, for, armor. for armor. Um, however, read Makashi Mastery. Oh yeah. Uh, you may reduce the Pierce value. If you do, the defender cannot use immune Pierce, and you are immune Pierce. I'm yes. assuming. Yes. yes. So yeah, I might as well do that. So you essentially still have Pierce. And one. Pierce one. Yes. Okay. All right. So you're gonna want to roll five red dice. Oof. You got this, Nate. I believe right, in you, buddy. Here we go. We probably Come can't kill you. Uh, you can't. He has yeah. six health. So. Defensive. Okay, not bad, not bad. Two defensive. And if I had taken a dodge token, yeah. I could have used those and dealt a wound to you. Mm-hmm. But, but instead, so you would block, block two. two. Pierce is going to cancel one. Right? Yep, but Pierce so, is going to cancel one. So oh, that's right. four. Yeah, so you're going to take... Or that's a one. spicy meatball. Wow, yeah. <laughs> very spicy meatball. And then the blacks on the clones. Oh yeah, I forgot that we're still and with the lightning. attack in the clones yeah. with lightning here. But what about the lightning attack on the clones? Dooku, 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 Dooku. Now, uh, Dooku is very powerful, but uh, you only had Relentless when you play that card. Yes. All the first users have Relentless or have Charm. Have it Dooku does it. not. He's more methodical, more plotting. So that converts. Those are blanks. So it's just two and a crit. Two and a crit. I mean, why even, why even bother with that? <laughs> well, what are the keywords on your first lightning? Pierce one and scatter. Hey, well, do we have any surges for the clones? No. no. Okay. That's two guys down. Mm -hmm. Two more dead. And that was these guys? Uh, no, no the same, same guys. Same unit leader is on there. Oh man, mm -hmm. man, oh man. And scatter, that's one that I haven't run into before. Yeah, so it's not going to do anything here, but yeah. um, what it would do survivor. is, yes, exactly. You take all the, the opponent, the person making the attack, would take all of the non-leader minis, and rearrange them however they wanted. Oh, so the utility there is like, it's like you blast them out. Cover, them out. Yeah, yeah or... you pull them out of cover. And, okay. Yeah. Uh, excellent. That was the count yet? himself. <laughs> I, I, that's where I got to stop. All right. <laughs> got to stop now. All right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's see. Well, so here's an important tactical point. Please. Obi Wan there. Yes. I'm sure he'd love to retaliate. Yes. But he's not locked in combat. No one else no. is going to bother shooting at him. Right. So you could go ahead and work on some other stuff now. Sure. You worry about him later. So it was also done to keep Dooku from getting shot. No. Because That's now important. they're just going mano a mano. Mm -hmm. You cannot perform range attacks into a melee. Yeah, if people are wondering what Pierce does. That uh, that uh, no, allows you to. What would you say? Does it not? Does Lightning have Pierce one? Yeah. Oh no! Oh, it does. That's one more oh. dead clone. Oh, oh man! So, so that, that unit just wiped like, out. The, They're just gone. The yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, yes. thanks, wow. Twitch. <laughs> I mentioned I he gets Pierce. to cheat all day. You're like, <laughs> don't leave those guys alive. <laughs> I did mention the Pierce. We just forgot oh, about yeah, it. Yeah, like I, got, I heard you say it. We got to talking about they applied it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now walk me through how to use this awesome tank here. Oh yeah, yeah. you've got a beam weapon. Don't I do, you? Yeah. I do. So here's I a, set this up as a learning. You can uh, yes. beam yep. everybody. You can always pre-measure range in Legion. Sure. 
Mm. And everybody mm. seems yeah, to be that's in spicy. one. Yep. Yeah, he would be in one, but he's in melee now, so Correct. you can't shoot at him. Yep. However, you can definitely I can go ahead and. Well, you know, I don't strike? think you I don't think you have to move. No. Right? Okay. No. 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 Oh, you, you know, so that moves now. you further in away fact, from the. Yeah. Objective. Are you are you at range already? Uh, no. I think it's like just He's off. Just no. So there might be something to be said for just scooting a little closer, so that you're okay. already at range of that. Because is this? Did you put your guy at? You did. Oh, so he's going to be wow. at range. Right? So you might want to just scoot just up a little, a little bit. And you are you are down. At, down a unit leader. True. So you're going to yeah. need to get everybody, yeah, everybody in, in there. Yeah. True, true. Yeah, yeah, so you can do just a partial move just straight forward a little bit, and that yeah. should be fine. Let's go ahead and move. Because you already have a name token, so that's good. Yeah. We'll just set that up so, you know, yeah. I'm playing by the rules. Yeah. Like, mm. you know, some people, you know. No, not to name names. Yeah, not to name names. Yeah. You're going to just give significant points and subtle points. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so all right. it now from appears here. as though Nate is perhaps maybe going to eventually use the beam cannon right oh, here. Oh, I think he's going to use Luke, it. Luke, I'd like to right. use the beam yeah. cannon. Yeah. This is actually a very opportune moment because we have a question chat. Unleash the beam cannon. Yes, if but. the beam cannon also works with fire support. Oh, that is a very good question. It doesn't. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, but he's going to say yes. Like, no! No, no, no. no. It, it doesn't work for fire support um, because uh, the, the additional attacks, the main attack, you can use it. Mm -hmm. The additional attacks, uh, it explicitly says that it, the attacks are made only with, only with this that weapon. weapon. Okay. Right. So okay. it's not that, like, it wouldn't work. It just explicitly says it doesn't. Okay. Um, okay. Yes. So uh, your second action? You know, just yeah, uh, second standby or... No, no, no. Dodge? No, no. I'm going to give the people what they want. Mm. Unleash so the for beam. The, uh, for the beam cannon, that's a range, what is it? I just looked at it. Range, range four. one to four. Yeah. Your wow, main guns are also one Yeah, you can also use your main guns oh, with yeah. that's the beam right. cannon. Arsenal right too. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. the first attack, you Beautiful. can use arsenal. So I'm pretty sure I've got everybody. Oh yeah, you got them. So we'll start off with the beam here, and then I can move mm -hmm. to a second target from that. You can, correct? yes. Now, I will say, uh, using you your main gun is probably better. You might want to use his, your main gun against his, that's true. his tank there. Although, I mean, he's, he already said it, so we're going to have to go with the <laughs> Let's see. So the main gun is two of each. A double rainbow. Mm -hmm. And that goes, I'll go off of the tank first. Mm -hmm. And and your beam. Oh, and the beam. Yeah, that's right, that's so they're right. combined for the first attack Which because of Arsenal 2. Two red. Two red. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to put the, the sure, beam Sure, yeah, you can put them in there for our friendly viewers at home. Beamies. Go ahead and show those off. You only have one gun? Mm, unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, AAT does have, oh, do have a couple oh of anti-personnel right. lasers. Mm, oh, hey, if oh only you had a name token. If only I had a name token. Nate! Wow. Yeah. yeah. Now, your main gun has critical two. Okay. So it doesn't just bounce off. So, first of all, those two surges are going to both be crits. Okay, yeah, perfect. Like that. Yeah, that's so pretty good. flip those over. Yeah, and, and then, then second impact. of all, yes, that's impact, you're right? going to have, oh yeah, that's a good point. So, you have a decision to make. Please. Um, you have, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. You have critical one, impact two. Okay, so one of those surges is still a surge. Okay. That's better. Okay. Set that over. But then the hit becomes right. So you're going to have impact two. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely spend that aim token to re-roll the two red dice and try and get another hit so that that can be changed to a crit with impact. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Also, forget for oh yeah, that you got that one okay. from the link yeah. targeting array. What's the I forget the clone pilot. The clone pilot would, would be good if there was anyone nearby yeah. who had a name token, but they yeah. don't right now. So okay, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So right. three crits? Uh, yeah, so impact two is going to change two of those hits to two crits. And I ignore the remaining hit. Mm -hmm. All right. Two, Do, one. Just block two, take one. Yep. All right. Statistically average. Statistically average. Well, I know that you're taking a lot of damage, but as you do have to share the damage token. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Can I get a suppression? Uh, not on the vehicle. Not on the vehicle, yeah. It's the, they have the uh, damage thing. Mm -hmm. They have a resilience value. I have nine health. You have a lot of health. They both have nine health. One more uh, than the right. occupier. I'm going to do your beam well, now. Yeah, and then the beam should oh, yeah. be able to hold on. Oh, whoa. 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 <laughs> yeah, so used to be the one rolling all the dice here. And that's just two reds. Two reds. Two reds. So this is on these guys, these guys right mm -hmm. here. Hey, hey, there's a crit. There, there we, go. we go. That'll get through their cover. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm making one, one white. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh good. wow! All right, 
Damn. One and six. Man. All right. And then you can beam to these guys. Oh, yeah. that's right. It keeps going. Yep. Sweeping up this mountain. Don't here. stop beam leaving. Boo. <laughs> uh, so that's just blocked by just one. Uh, yeah. They don't really oh, have no, cover. Oh, no, they don't have cover. So. Yeah. Oh, no, uh, they they're delaying. Yeah. yeah, they, they do. Okay. They do? Luke yeah. has declared. All right. I mean, Judge. I guess he's coming up I mean, here, yeah. It, the question would be, Nate, if you yeah. put your face down by that tank, mm -hmm. sure. yeah. are, is any of these guys obscured by this terrain? And I believe the answer is going to be yes. Probably yes. 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 Okay, well. Okay. Are you done finally? Like, just. Brutalizing I mean, my poor droids. I mean, a Dooku Never. tank, they both, yeah. Cool beam, bro. They both, they both have a long time. <laughs> cool beams. I don't know. Let's make sure we're no shenanigans here. No whammies. The tank. Hey. It's the tank. <clears throat> so. Right. My armor piercing shells are sadly inactive. Sure. Mm. But I do have barrage, which means if I don't use arsenal, Mm -hmm. I can perform up to two attack actions. My other option would be to move up and hose down the troopers with my uh, anti-personnel lasers mm -hmm. and shoot the tank. Those are range three, but they might not be inside the here. anti-personnel is only one to two. Oh, they are. Oh, yeah. okay. So you would probably have to get closer then. Yeah, I would definitely have to move. But I'm already close enough to contest the objective. Right. So I don't really need to move. So I'm just going to lay it on the tank with barrage. Mm. So that's four red dice. I don't have the aim token. I was not issued an order. Uh, so the first attack, critical two, high velocity, impact one. So oh, impact well, one. And impact one makes those two. two crits. Okay. All right, roll two red. Hey, hey nice. there it is. And second shot. Uh, critical one. Critical makes this. Well, critical two actually, but. And impact makes this. Exactly. So impact one, critical two. All right. Another so two. two again. Two more crits. All right. Oh, nice. Nice. Mm. That is frogging right. off that damage. Not statistically. Damage. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> that was the tank. <laughs> Done. I guess that makes up for the insane amount of crits you rolled with yeah. the other tank. <laughs> I, I really can't complain. Yeah. <laughs> That was that was a little bit, little bit. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, we got any other spicy questions? Uh, so actually, we do have a couple questions. Um, question number one: We pointed out at the very beginning of the stream that uh, these are the largest bases. They are very big. Ever, yeah, very yeah. big. So far. Yeah, so far. Four Legion. Um, are we gonna maybe see? I don't actually know if we're gonna see maybe some premium bases for these guys or. Um, that is a good question. The premium bases are kind of um. Kind of a luxury product. Mm -hmm. um, maybe if in the future we have take more new bases to put in a base pack, pack we might. Was, uh, at this point, Obi -Wan the Obi-Wan Kenobi. There's only been two. Yeah. The Occupier in these ones, and therefore very particular. Got Occupier is the only one using that base. Pierces yes. or any these of that two kind units of are the only ones using uh, these. Critical base, two, yes. so probably not in the near future. And Pierce. So maybe if we get some more okay. units so that use two. similar bases, I then two of these would be I'm a moon Pierce. Sure. So. And then just uh, yes. to kind of clarify, pairs. hypothetically speaking, can only use on the beam weapon, it can go range so one to four, matter. right? Okay. So but if I it hits something dodge. at exactly... Oh. <laughs> so, five. If the beam hits something at exactly range four, mm -hmm. it could then pop back to something that's yes. range five, yes. pop back to something range six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just keep going back. Yep. All right. Uh, what other so I rolled three blocks. That one. Yeah. And then dodge one. Right? Right? Yeah. So I um, take Oh, no, you, you, you cancel it before you roll. Okay, so, so you should roll one fewer die. Oh, oh I see what you're saying. Yeah, so just re roll. All right, re -roll. If you're canceling, if there was five and you canceled one, you yeah. should roll four dice. Four dice. Three blocks. Pretty good. All right. So I take one. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I need that damage token from you there. Yep. Locked in combat. Good. There you go. That Obi Wan is done. So yeah. we're talking about pilots. Yeah. Talk about the pilots for the AAT earlier. Mm -hmm. Showed off the veteran clone trooper. Yes. Our clone pilot. Mm -hmm. We also maybe spilled the beans a little bit. Plo Koon is in that pack. Yeah. I mean, could you kind of see him a little bit in the art and the spread? 
of cards. I don't know. I feel like someone yeah. guessed that he was in he there. He's maybe in there. Yeah, he's in there. Yeah. We also have one other pilot in there. Uh, someone actually correctly guessed it. In I, the think chat. She, I think she, uh, that's because she's on the front. Oh, is she just on the front? In the front okay. of the stack. Yeah, yeah so, Ayla. Ayla yeah, Sakura. Ayla Sakura is in there, yeah. Plo Koon, oh, Plo Koon, Ayla Sakura, and a clone veteran pilot are the three. The three for the mm -hmm. Saber class. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, well, should we say what the names of the shells are? Ooh, we should say what the... Because we only have one yeah, type so of shells here, yeah. You've seen the... Uh, armor piercing. Armor piercing. Mm -hmm. Armor piercing shells. There's also the um, high velocity shells. Mm -hmm. And then there is the... Um, or No, I think they're high, 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 high energy, energy yes. shells. They have high velocity. I'll yep. just get that away. And then uh, <laughs> there's the bunker buster shell. Yes. Yeah. Very interesting. Those are mean. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and, and those three upgrades are one not one limited to the one of these. Um, both vehicles have that upgrade slot and share those ordinance upgrades. Okay. Yeah. I can't stand by after I've shot, correct? Correct. That's what I thought. So I guess I might as well just dodge on the off chance he decides to shoot at these guys because they're mm -hmm. already within. Oh, I also need to get, see if I get rid of that. You can't be suppressed as a droid, so. Yeah, but oh yeah, no, roll, you still right? rally. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, it wouldn't change anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, they're done. I've currently got three leaders within range one. Yikes! Uh, back to Nate. How close are those clones? Are they at range one? Uh, not yet. quite yet. But they're now. They're but they're about turn. to be. Yeah, they probably want to be. Hmm. We have a question in chat you could, about. Uh, you could double move over to here so that the battle droids can't see. You. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. What was, uh, what's the other question? Oh, the I was just going to say, uh, chat's a little curious about what Klo-Koon does. I'm going to be a little cagey about this because I just wrote the preview article. Yeah, yeah, hang on. Uh, yeah, we got, we got stuff to put mm, in the preview Exactly, articles. yeah. So the, the, the preview article is going to be coming out, I think, uh, in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I will give a couple hints, perhaps, and say that plo -Koon works very nicely with the Saber Class tank's ability to dodge things. Mm -hmm. He can outmaneuver stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, we gotta save something for Yeah, him. yeah, save some surprises uh, in there. Uh, articles, yeah. Mm -hmm. So with him tucked in there, if I come right up to the edge, I'll still be able to see him, right? But I'll be have no cover against anything that shoots at me, obviously. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and actually what might be tough too is, um, remember, a mini can only contribute a weapon if they can see yes. an opposing So I have to get so. everybody right up on the yeah, edge. They'll have to edge. all stand right on the edge of that cliff. Or I just shoot at the <laughs> tank. I think I kind of want to get him up there anyways to, to get to the... Um, oh, that's true, so that you have four. Get range one. Yeah, true, true. So if my leader is back there, he can go right up to the edge. Mm -hmm. And just to be... Well, so here's the question, though. Did they have a face-up order token? Oh, no, they have to shoot and then move. Yeah. You're right. No, if they, if they, they did don't not. have they any didn't. valid targets. I thought they did, because they, they, didn't they uh, do their little... Oh, that was, turn. That was, that was last turn. Oh, that was last turn. Was last I'm sorry. This yeah, is one of the... Yeah. So they we, totally have to shoot. If first. they if they can reach, I think it's it's round two they, now, so they can shoot to range three. Range three. Yeah. Yes. Now this is one of the downsides of the droid army. Yes. Is that when you play their your like commander's really powerful one pip sure. cards, your droids suddenly don't know what to do. Yeah. They're like, oh, what's going on? Yeah. You know, Roger, Roger. Uh, on your tank. Uh, Dooku got busy and had to fight a Jedi Crits, and tell the droids what to do. Yeah. A crit. Oh, look at that. Pretty good. Yeah. One. One. Oh, we can get that white defense die out of there. Get that. Wait on the that. That's solely your defense roll with a terrible white. Oh, yeah. man. His defense dice has turned armor into fire. Yeah. Uh, and then I know we can get up there. there yeah. So then they'll move up to be in contention. Right. So then this is round two. Round so two, yep. at the end of this round, we would score. Mm -hmm. And it looks like Matt is going to get. Uh... Now, if any of those droids fall off, they die. <laughs> <laughs> Legion, to be clear, Star Wars <laughs> Legion, the dexterity game. Yeah. It's a cruel game. This guy's at the wrong pose to be trying to put right there on the edge. Uh, mm -hmm. To be clear to everybody in chat, um, the ordinance is not specific to either of the tanks. Right. Both it's the, the same tanks, three cards for both. Yep. So same three moved. cards. Mm -hmm. I believe the TX-130 can only take one. It only yeah. has a slot for one, and the AAT has in? slots for two yeah. ordinance, yes. correct? Yes, because look at how many it missile tubes are on that thing. Yeah, you can fit yeah. a lot of yeah. ordinance in yeah. there. Yeah. So what you could do is, because so all of the ordinance exhausts, but has that cycle keyword. So what you could do so with the AAT right. yeah. is equip two ordinances and alternate each turn which one you're using. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fun. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Dot goes away. Pick up all these at the start of the turn. Mm -hmm. I'll drop a suppression. Yep, you lose that too. 
new command cards. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. Yep. Yep. I mean, when the developer tells you to do something, yeah, what are you it gonna, seems pretty good. How are you going to argue? Yeah. Um, so with the the actual sculpts themselves, let's go over. I mean, I, I think you've said this before, but what options do we have for the little guy? Popping out of the top of both of these, it's uh, right. So got the B one and the clone trooper. Yep, over there's here. one for each. Yep. yep. So uh, you've got an option of a battle droid. Specifically, it is a Um series. Yes. Battle droid. It's very specific. Yeah. Yes. Um, although I guess you don't have to paint him yellow. You can paint him any color you want. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So he can be popped out. Now, if he's not, if you don't uh, put him on, those hatches close, um, so it can be closed up. And then for the saber tank, there's also a little hatch that can be glued open or shut. And you have the option of a phase one or phase two clone gunner. And yes. he has a little bit of extra armor on his helmet and mm. shoulders, I believe, and then on his chest plate. Yes. You know, because, you know, he's sticking up out of a tank. <laughs> yeah. You have a little extra armor, so. So you issue to Obi-Wan? Mm-hmm. And those are, of course, of course both uh, hard plastic. And the uh, Dodge the, the, yes. whole, the whole kit, including the pilots. Dooku. This guy, which gives it to this guy, and then the tank, which gets an aim token. How many guys were you at range one of? Uh, oh. Three, I think. Maybe. Up here? Four. Yeah. For Obi Wan? Yeah. Yeah. Just three. Right. Dooku and the two droids. Yeah. yeah. Do you, get, you should have three tokens then, right? Oh my gosh. You you're stand right. by? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that the other option? Oh, well, you can mix and match. They don't have to be three different tokens. Oh, interesting. I'll take a uh, dodge. Now, I mean, a standby doesn't hurt because if Dooku hits you, you can just hit him back. That's true. Mm, true. Yeah, yeah, I'll take one of each. Let's rainbow it up. Yeah. Why not? Because I want to use Obi-Wan's defensive ability. Oh, if you're going to go first, though, don't take the standby token because it'll just go away when you... True. Oh, yeah, 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 true. yeah. So take like a, yeah, take a dodge. dodge that's a fair point. Aim. I forgot about that. Or another aim. Yeah. Um, double aim. Yeah, Hit him back, aim. man. Double yeah. aim. Oh, man. <laughs> this is what happens when I, you need to make your own dice luck. <laughs> <laughs> Based on my past rolls for attack, uh, I need the aim that's more that's than fair. the dodge. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Yep. All right. Uh, let's kick that off. Go ahead and swing at this old man. Mm. Rude. That is kind of rude. You are an old man. <laughs> A very tall old man. man. Yep. Uh, Count, I believe. Yes, true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dooku. Oh boy. Pacha. So Luke. I said that oh. so confidently too. <laughs> Dude. Just a moment ago, we were Just talking the about uh, the ordnance, which uh, is introduced in these two tank expansions. Yeah. Um, there are two. previous vehicles for both the Rebels and Empire. Uh, Might we see? Ways to get the ordnance on those older expansions or ordnance in each uh, of those factions into, later on? Into older things? No. no um, okay. None of the vehicles that we've Should done like have yeah. missile pods okay. or you know torpedo you tubes. Okay. Um, so that's not something we would give to a vehicle that already exists. Now there are other vehicles in the future, sure, that yeah. may have those that would use those same upgrade cards. Yeah. So you're saying there's a chance? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Obi-Wan is critical too, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, that's right. Uh, so that'll flip man. these two over. Mm-hmm. No, critical turns the surge to a critical, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so your, your surge should be... So I think you got all six there. Yeah. Surge is a critical. Yes. There we go. Duke you... You're immune pierce. Yep, I'm immune pierce and... I can. I only get the dodge when I activate him. Correct. From correct. The, that was all, that was from a card. Yeah. 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 So I've got six. Hokidoki. Choke. 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 Mm, that's well, a uh, three. Good hit. It takes three. What's your health over there? Three. Uh, I've taken four so far. What's your What's your your? Uh... I need some damage. I need yeah. three. What's your total HP? Six. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Those are getting hurt. Blows are being exchanged. Mm-hmm. Now, um, on your last turn, you use both of your upgrade cards. Your yes, but force choke and then the, your invisible one. Master of the Force 2. Yes, so they both should be yeah. ready. Yeah, which is I already readied force choke. Including that. the invis- invisible one? Did you ready your invisible force like, reflexes? Yeah, there it is. Okay, yep. good. All right, that's, that's, that's okay. Obi-Wan. That's not bad. So nothing can shoot at Dooku. 
because he's engaged still. So there's no real reason, unless I want to just force choke one of those clones. Mm -hmm. Unless you're really worried about those clones just running in up to Dooku and starting to punch him. Yeah. Seems like that'd be a, <laughs> a bad time for them. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the tank because my armor piercing shells are back up, oh, having not used man. them last now turn. Back online. So that is five and two reds and blacks with an aim with a lot of impact. Critical two, impact three. Nice. You want to see those? Check your rocket chat. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh rocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's take it. Win. I'm going to go ahead oh, and yeah, okay. aim. Yeah, spend that aim. No reason not to. Ooh. Critical. Yep. And then impact three is what I had. Is, how, much, how much is from the shells? I think it's three from the shells and one from your gun. I don't think so. I think so. <laughs> You're right. Uh, <laughs> aha. Turns out when you design... Yeah, it's all <laughs> hard. You design this. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember all everything. We, we've established that I right? am not good with math today. <laughs> so no, that's okay. Two are blocked that's by your armor. That's that classic impact combines. And five stack. dice. All right. Five dice, man. How much wounds does it already have? Uh, three. Oh, so you can't die. Yeah. I mean... I mean, eventually. Eventually. Don't we all? <laughs> Immortality. Ooh, I only see two blocks. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's a pretty that's chunky. Uh, yeah. So yeah. three more go through? Yeah, three more go through. So, I'll go through. so you're at how much? I am current. Oop, wrong pile. Yeah. I'm at six oh, right nine. now of my okay. nine. Ooh, did so you get your resilience I, value? I did. You resilience. Ooh, no. I did. So remind me, how does that work? Roll a red die. Yep. And red I'll de defense, defense die. die yeah. And I'll tell you what happens. <laughs> Ooh. Uh-oh, that's bad. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, you rolled the one in six chance one. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> sure. All right, so one of your weapons has been disabled. Okay. So your opponent chooses one of your weapons. And from now on, offline. now on, when you use that weapon, you only add half of its dice rounded up. Okay. Including, so if you use the beam, you only get one shot you get, for each yeah. thing? No, no, no. You well, just you, get you, one, you, red one die. die. One yeah. red die. Yeah. Yep. And, but for each of the chain effects, exactly. too. Exactly. Yep. That seems like my best value. Mm -hmm. So the beam, weapon, the beam weapon, while a cool, is no longer fully functional. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Darn. Taking the coolest thing. Yep. Nope. Speaking hey, of the beam weapon, I yeah, let him get actually... a full shot of it off. And well, before we go into a question, oh, just sorry. a quick one to point out um, for those watching at home who are maybe not up to date on uh, some of the changes that have been made to the game since its original release, you can keep up with those in the Living Rules Reference it, document online. I think I just forgot to move him up. Oh, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> weapon <laughs> disabled. <laughs> it used to mean you cannot use that weapon at all. Mm -hmm. no. That's no longer true. Now it only means what I just said is which you remove half its dice. Mm -hmm. It still has all its keywords, and um, the player using it still would get to pick which dice to use. So for example, if your main gun was disabled, mm -hmm. um, normally it rolls two red, two black, two white, sure. it would instead roll, probably you choose, two red and one black. Right. So it's you know still usable. Yeah, unless yeah. you wanted a challenge, and then you could just throw yeah. those white dice in there. Unless you wanted to be on hard mode. <laughs> yeah. I like to play on hard mode. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's do this on Infernal. Anyway, uh, Luke. Uh, how much was the beam cannon inspired by uh, Red Alert 2 prism tanks? Is there any inspiration there? Um, none, unless you want a head cannon that it was. Uh, no, it was inspired by um, what the saber tank actually does in the original Battlefront games. Uh, it zips around, it can strafe, yep. and it has a beam cannon that fires off the, a turret on the top of the gun. Takes out those droids. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sweeps through them. Exactly. Right. Yep. Even at range six. Well, maybe not in Battlefront. They probably don't. No, you can shoot really far yeah, in Battlefront. I think I'm going to aim and right. shoot at your tank. Yeah. If you were oh. good. Because it was hard to line up exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It was a very thin laser beam. Yes. But, you know. <laughs> aim on there. And Easier to sweep across things and hit multiple targets. Right. While we're on the subject of the tanks and their weapons, once these guys come out, there might Give be... Aim. Some tanks appearing 
in some lists, perhaps. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, what do you think is the best way to go uh, anti-tank? Uh, would, you, would you equip an infantry, okay. right. or are you better going off with just tank versus tank? Well, so I will say uh, you can go infantry because there are those options available. <laughs> but those options, like if we talk, you know, we'll go old school to HH12, for example. Um, it is an ex it, it's an option, but it's an expensive way to counter vehicles. You can include it without having to like dedicate like adding an entire vehicle to your list, but vehicles themselves generally are a bit better counter to other vehicles. The infantry has it as options, um, and you know if you don't want to change your list a lot to counter vehicles, um, if you're not super worried about it but you want to have it there, you can add in a couple heavy weapons with uh, impact on them. If you really want to have like a, a real hard counter to vehicles, probably add another vehicle. Um, we, um, in our points adjustment, we reduced the cost of the uh, laser cannon on the um, ATRT. That's a great option. Impact three. Mm, nice. Yeah. Um, the saber or the um, um, ATST itself has impact three on its main gun, yeah. I believe. Same with the airspeeder. So vehicles are good at shooting at other pierce. vehicles. No pierce. I'm so pierce infantry pierce. with like a rocket yeah, launcher. Yeah, I'm using the oh. it, it'll, it's nice it'll help. Kind of it'll safety help. Net. Yeah. It'll help. But good luck getting through nine health and red defense dice mm -hmm. with just one HH12. A lot of red uh, dice should only be over here. five. Mm -hmm. oh. Red v red. Yes. Although, I don't think it's going to matter for you to. Well, now watch him watch five blocks. That's what happens. Is this against the tank? No, this or is on Obi Wan. Obi -Wan. Hey. Wow, hey. definitely hey. improved. <laughs> <laughs> so you do take a wound. Obi well, we Wan's still kicking. Did you spend that dodge token? I didn't get to, no. Or, uh, why not? He has one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, then, so then you'd roll three dice. Well, four dice. It's fine. You, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably better fine. than you would have gotten regardless. <laughs> don't do that because it'll yeah. that was statistically that. in your favor. Yeah. Don't redo it. I guess kind of, is, we'll give you that that uh, little bit of impropriety in, in the face, face of all mine. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> uh, so Dooku, he aimed and attacked. Cool. He got his free dodge and he force choked a uh, clone. Man, so. it's rough over there. It is. <laughs> all right. With the addition of these tanks and. Republic and Separatists getting more vehicles. Yeah. Are we perhaps going to see some more vehicle-based objectives in the future? Or? Well, funny you should ask that. <laughs> so the um, Vital Assets yes. uh, expansion uh, that uh, we released. I always had to pause on the name because uh, we always called it Precious Cargo. <laughs> and, and not because of any crits, because Rune Hago. Is precious cargo to us. Uh, absolutely, yes. Um, but uh, that has some objectives in it that um, there are none that are like, you have to do this with a vehicle. It might um, help. Well, yes, that's, <laughs> that's actually um, one of them in particular. You can use any unit for, but it is much more achievable with a vehicle. Um, the uh, hostage one, for example, oh, yeah. you need to use a core Impact. unit to like grab the hostages and move around, so but one. you only need one mm -hmm. to, to grab it. Yep. Your other units should be pretty heavy hitting to counter you know, your opponent, so you could take vehicles in that one as well. So there's none that are like, this must be completed by a vehicle, but they're all sort of more fair to vehicles. Sure. Yeah, you could have vehicles maybe built up on both sides right. while you're exchanging those hostages. Exactly, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. And and actually to that point, um, the uh, conditions <clears throat> and even uh, deployments. Actually, one of the deployments. So uh, related to vehicles specifically, there is one deployment that is specifically better mm -hmm. with vehicles. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So in addition to objectives or like mm -hmm. the deployments. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> Just bounces off that barricade. And then these guys too. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't, um, have they don't have cover, so they need to make Whoa. All right, I need to... Got a big block of text here for this question, yes. so I need to... Mm -hmm. All right, so we have a couple of named Jedi as pilots for the Saber Tank. True. Uh, two, in fact. Two of them, yes. <laughs> Precisely. Uh, what goes into deciding which Jedi characters become pilots versus commanders? Um, obviously... Mm. In well, I can. I'll answer. General, I'll yeah. answer the one question very specifically. The reason Plo Koon is a pilot in the saber tank is because being good at flying vehicles is his shtick. Yeah, that's what he does. The reason Ala Secura is in the saber tank is because there is a comic series that takes place. I think it's on Sokami, where so. um, 
there's a, a great shot of her like jumping out of like a saber tank that's all yeah. exploded and stuff. So, um, and also she comes in the Lego set of that. So, oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Obvious reasons. Yeah. So very nice. <laughs> More of a nice behind the scenes exactly. thought process. Yeah. Um, now, in terms of what uh, characters become or what Jedi become commanders, um, I think for the like near future, it's obviously going to be the fan favorites. Mm -hmm. You know. So right off the bat, Obi Wan obviously. Um, and then you're going to see, you know, all the ones that you expect to see are going to be coming out eventually. Um, not all at once, you know, we got to do, you know, this one, then this one, then this one. We're going to decide which ones to do before which other ones. But generally speaking, there's not any Jedi we don't want to do. So, yes. you know, just hang in there. Yeah, hang in there. Yeah. Lingers stuff, to yeah. yeah. stuff to look forward to. Yeah, stuff to look forward to. Yeah, if yeah. they were all in the game right away, then you wouldn't have anything to look forward to. Yeah, exactly. And, and it helps to, you know, I mean, we wouldn't want to develop all of them at once, too, because we want to give attention to what makes each of them unique. And Yaddle is going to be the next Jedi Master. Uh, um, so maybe favorite. I spoke too love. soon <laughs> when I said Yaddle. that yeah, too, there's too. none that we don't want. <laughs> Oh, what do you got against let's Yaddle? Just, let's, just say, <laughs> hey, let's just say there's a list, and some are more uh, towards the top, the top, and some are more towards the bottom. The clones, okay. The one yeah, the, uh, yeah, just the one. Well, Luke, I just want to say Yoda best. Yeah. I'm just going to kill this. Best. Bring it. Yeah, yeah, I'll so move, uh, similarly, uh, also Star Wars. Oh, okay, yeah. Like yeah, Star, Star, Star Wars, Wars yeah. t-shirt and a sweatshirt look. Like there we go, yeah. yeah we nice. coordinated. Yep. They're done. And light, dark. Maybe Yoda not best. I don't know. Yeah, no, there's some bad guy force <laughs> users we gotta do too. Don't forget yeah, that. Yeah, we can't neglect the dark side. You know? No, no, no. Uh, How's it going? I think over I'm missing here, out guys. on some questions here. Yeah, you know, the... it's going. It's going. <laughs> it's going. <laughs> How are those clones doing down there? Uh, thin. They're thin. Three, and I don't think out. you have cover standing. No, I don't think so. So with those just guys. three defense dice. Luke, I think we were talking, I don't know if it was yesterday, sometime earlier this week that you were working on an update to the rules reference. Do them. Uh, yes. Do you have an idea of when that might be out? I don't want to make any promises. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> well, and here's why. Um, so uh, if people have paid attention, um, if a product is coming out with keywords that aren't in the rules reference yet, there'll be an update to the rules reference before that product comes out. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Yes. Um, so there will be an update to the rules reference before the tanks and the phase two and um, B2 super battle droids come out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I do score the objective for round three, having many commanders in place. Yes. It's true. So that was true the, facts. The end of a round. This is end of round three. End of round three. three. Yeah. Can we get an update on everybody's health? Yeah, I'll let you go first. Sure. It's a bigger uh, job over there. The uh, saber tank is at six of nine. Mm. Hey, Perfect. how about we put those tokens out? Uh, yeah, we can just put sure. them in front so people can see what they have. Oh, the, 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 just the um, tokens. Yeah, the one tokens. Yeah. Put them on that side so people oh, can sure, see sure, sure. Uh, what the status is. Yeah, so six there. And then Obi Wan has got. Ooh, there we go. Five. Ooh, five out of six? Five out of six. Mm. The okay. AAT has two damage, yeah. whereas uh, I'm at. Four out of six on Count Dooku. Mm -hmm. And I'm down one battle droid up there because they were the exposed ones. Those That's guys right. are still full strength. Full strength? Right. All right. We got. Oh, are those clones gone now? They are gone. Oh, now. No. I machine gunned them with wow. both yeah. my sets of battle droids. Is it, is it Obi Wan in the tank? That's, that's mm -hmm. it for the that's Republic? It. Yeah. Oh. Obi Wan at last day. These battle droids have moved out of cover, so. They, they had to shoot the target those clones, the, the clones. Yeah. And I didn't well, want to just bounce white well, dice well, off the tank. Well, see gun. Oh yeah, see what I'm going with those guys. But actually, this one is this gonna give? No, it's not bad. Oh, but do you have? Uh... Oh no, you used your. You still have that. What is he playing already? Let's Don't see. worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think he's going. Gonna... Need all the help. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. I think... Yeah, maybe that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a couple questions in the chat about vital assets. Uh, yeah, what about it? And, uh, first one, how much do you think it's going to change the meta of the game? A lot. A lot? Well, so currently, if you buy the... Um, what is the first Battlefield expansion called? Battlefield expansion. Um, you know, supplies. Priority Supplies, yeah! <laughs> if you buy Priority Supplies, uh, so plus the core set, you're going to have... Um, Enough of each of the battle cards, there's essentially one you don't choose to use okay. when you make a battle deck mm -hmm. um, of four of each. You'd have five of each with the expansion. 
That's not a huge difference. Sure. The um, vital assets is going to add three more of each objective, condition, and deployment. Um, so you're suddenly going from having five options to having eight options. So you could make a battle deck with no cards from the core set if you wanted to. So there's going to be a lot more factors going on, a lot more sort of contingencies to have plans for, um, and also a way to, to tailor your deck to your army more. So I can s foresee um, some armies wanting to maybe bid a little more to be blue players so that they get their deck. But conversely, um, a lot of lists may be just adapting more to being able to sort of be all comers. And um, in that respect, then, uh, not really caring about being blue player. You know, sort of going ahead and filling out the whole 800 points. Um, but I think, uh, I think it'll be exciting. It'll be crazy when it comes out. Yeah, I'm very excited. Wild West of objective cards. Yeah, moving away from the core set a little bit. Yeah. Kind of getting out there. They're into their territory. They're, um, especially the objectives, a little more complex, but I feel like that's fine given mm -hmm. that, you know, with the life of the game, and, um, they're all fun. Um, uh, Frank Brooks, who is one of the uh, former X Wing designers, yes. um, helped me work on those. Yeah. So. So I had some input from another developer on there, and we came up with some fun stuff. Yeah, I remember you and I actually uh, played a couple of those objectives a while back. Yeah, that's right. It was, it was pretty fun. So. Yeah, some fun stuff. <laughs> a little update. Some... Yeah, what oh, happened? Uh, oh, no. Obi-Wan Obi got knocked into the lava. No. Oh, no. no. And Obi has <laughs> gone down. Did Dooku have the high ground? Obi can no did by about a millimeter there, oh, okay. but that's enough. <laughs> that was enough. As you've seen. <laughs> it's very all it takes. Yikes. <laughs> That Makashi training is doing work. That yeah. veteran clone pilot is. Really uh, yeah. He's got to do work now. Yeah, he's got to pick up some slack. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can shoot Dooku now. He does have a he has a dodge though. All right. He's just out in the open. Actually, yeah, two wounds kills Dooku. The game's an aim token. Yeah. Uh, issued an order. Oh right, that did happen. Yes. Um. Let's see. Well, you just lay it on him. Yeah, I just. Uh, you don't need to move. Fire. Just, just aim again and shoot at him. Just fire all the guns at once. <laughs> Blast off into space. Yeah, you, you, so you still have an action. So you can aim a second time. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. true. I might as well. You are allowed to do that. And also, don't forget, you can still use your beam gun. It only had one dice though. Yeah, he did last turn. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. He beamed everybody. That's how actually what killed one of those guys. Yep. Oh, with one die? Yeah. Oh, nice. It's, I mean, one white to a... Uh... Oh, that's a fair point. To a, I mean, a red, you've got a pretty good chance of rolling it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to add that beam. Add that beam. Follow up vital assets question. Yeah. So it has yeah. the two hostage minis. minis in there. Yes, it does. Tell us a little bit more about mm, those. Right. How are they used? Can you use those as personnel? or? Um, so the, the vital assets does not come with any, um, like, uh, units or mm. upgrade cards. Um, it is just content one, for the so battle be, cards. Now, you could like use those minis two. for fun. So it's you could two. incorporate yeah, them into your terrain. You know, you could use them in place of personnel for fun. Um, but they don't have any um, content associated with them that's not a part of the scenario. So, um, strictly speaking, they are used just in place of objective tokens for the sure. hostage um, uh, objective, but they're very cool little minis. You've got yeah, yeah. Rune Hako Rune from Hako, episode yeah. one, and you got Rio Chuchi from the uh, Clone Wars cartoon. So, yeah, nice thematic instead of just having like, here's a little objective to. Oh, yeah, what rules question? Deflect. I can use it to block one and yes. then deal a damage back. Uh, no, if you roll any uh, surges, surges, that's what it, it is. will do a damage back. Okay, so I've got to roll six defense dice. Well, so spend it. You have to spend it before you roll. Spend no. it. Not like X one. Right. Yeah, see, then that's the game that I am far more familiar with. So one of those goes away. Ooh. I block three. Ooh. But uh, two but go two through. Left. And Dooku also goes uh, down. Uh, Dooku biffs it. I mean, I'll take. Yeah. I will sacrifice him for taking one off the board there. before yeah. he got to activate. Yeah. Oh, well. So uh, you're done, right? Yes. Well. Oh, you have beams. I have my beams. Mm, yeah. Is so um, check. Uh, so it's range one, mm -hmm. and this is a little rules, but um, yes, even though he was defeated and removed from the board, you would still check for range. Yes. So. Okay. Oh no, range one from the defender. Yeah. So you yeah. definitely can bounce to yep. these guys yep. or those guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. And these guys are all out of cover. If they're they both out of cover. You and I can hit two of them, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Beam two. It's two right. additional attacks. So we'll go there and then to the tank. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you're probably um, not going to do much damage to the tank because you don't have critical or anything true. like that. Yeah, just armor. the two troops. Yeah, work on the battle joints. All right. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. not the right you're just shooting back at him, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you've activated my trap card. All right. All right. So we Let lose me... a guy here. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, nice well, try. Why don't you try that one again? This is Legion Look. the Dexterity game. Hey. <laughs> All right. Another battle right yeah. down. Lose another guy here. There it goes. All right. Chipping away. Chipping away, Nate. I believe okay. you, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Where did my command tokens end up? I'm oh, man. I had a question, and then I just forgot it. I need to look down here. Mm -hmm. You're all done, so I just... Yeah. So we have worlds. Coming up That's there. That's a on you. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think is going to be the Boom. single biggest change just gonna move down happens before forward. Worlds in terms of it could be a product release, rules reference change? What do you think? Um, that is a good question. I think um, Blast I think it's going to be interesting to see what um, of the new factions make it into Worlds. Oh, okay. they, they, have, and then move. they have fewer options, mm -hmm. um, but those options are... Quite good, and I've seen a lot of very dedicated players putting in reps with those new factions yes. to really master them. So I think we're going to have we're going to have fewer of them. That's just a given. Yes. Um, but it'll be interesting to see like how far they go, mm -hmm. how much players have mastered these new factions. That's... Um, as far as what's going to change it up, um, I rolled for their attack. Mm -hmm. I think uh, R two D two and C three PO coming out. Oh sure, okay. for both. Uh, the Republic and uh, the Rebels, there's a unit card for both factions in there, is going to be interesting. You think we're going to see some maybe creative lists that incorporate them? Oh, yeah, I think so. Mission? They're very, they're cheap. Um, they're obviously not going to do much damage. No, yeah. <laughs> uh, not C3PO with his clumsy yeah, kick is kicking not going to... Um, but uh, they, so. uh, they have a lot of good support abilities, so those are going to be interesting. Um, and that's going to affect two factions, so it'll be yes. interesting to see. I think we'll see... I think we'll definitely see them in the uh, Republic because it's, it's a nice, you know, they already have a lot of really expensive units in that faction, and R2-D2, um, probably even, even with C-3PO, is a, is a budget deal, so, yeah. I think that doesn't happen there. Is, Nate, is, what happened? Is leaning over. He oh. blanked out. Did he, oh. Three I crits mean, so goes through, and that's a dead tank. After wow, so. rolling nothing but blocks for... For like, two rounds. Yeah. <laughs> rounds two and three, wow, yeah. he blocked... Everything. So the action here was just, I was going to use Barrage to shoot twice. And I didn't get to the second shot. <laughs> I, are there, how many crits did you roll? I rolled two and then impact one. Mm -hmm. Gross. And then one right. hit, which just bounces work. off his armor. Yeah, yeah. So the tank goes down, yeah. leaving Separatists in control of this battlefield. Yeah. Cheaters prosper. <laughs> today. Kids, wow. if you're watching. Yeah. Well, Dooku, Dooku Tell your parents has been vanquished. Today. He did win a moral victory. That's true. Yeah. Now, Anakin will never fall to the dark side. Oh, like, true. Public oh, yeah, main right? yeah. Although Obi-Wan's not around. Does that... Yeah. No, no that, might, point, that might be no. a problem, too. That's true. Mm. That's true. Because <laughs> we got like, a whole different timeline. <laughs> we have in... <laughs> But, uh, Completely altered to the timeline and, and the canon here. Oh, yeah, this is yeah, a, this thing's a, a beast. Game. Yeah, yeah, it's a mean mama jama. It's a beast. I love these tanks. Nice. I, I have with two damage on it. Yeah. All that punishment. Although I did roll pretty good for it at least. Well, <laughs> having red on uh, a red defense die save behind armor is quite good. Mm -hmm. Not I think bad. I should have moved the tank more. I was too excited to use the beam weapon nah. as much as I did. Uh -huh. I think if I had strafed over i could have got out of that just massive firing arc mm -hmm. and like probably kept myself alive longer and chipped away at the it forced me to choose which direction i wanted to engage yeah, kind of exactly. yeah Tried to although you would have also then ceded the objective completely to me it's true you needed to have everybody in there yeah mm -hmm. that's really what it was yeah i think it was it was rough uh you uh those barricades were not in a position to help you mm -hmm. when you had to move up to take the objective so true. that was difficult you just kind of had to throw those clones out there yeah dooku also the first activation did ridiculous. The second round oh, did yeah. ridiculous Very things good. to both the clones yeah. and Obi Wan, mm -hmm. which was not. I mean, he's a good what? Start. How many points is he? Dooku is two hundred and five plus yeah. fifteen points of upgrade cards. He was two hundred twenty points. Yeah. So he was almost Worth half it. my list. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I was looking at you know him or Grievous, so you got to get your money back. Looks, he looks real fun yeah, with really that good. with that one pip move up. Oh yeah. Force lightning chop. Mm -hmm. 
We have yeah. a couple questions that I'd like to ask before we let sure, everybody yeah. go here. Uh, first question, uh, you don't have to get into specifics here, Luke, but can you talk to how deep into the Star Wars lore you dive when you're coming up with new units? Um, I'll just say a lot of tabs on Wikipedia. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, That's what I, I do we, that all the time. We, yeah. we have, oh, I mean, yeah, you, you do plenty of research too. Yes. Um, no, a lot of, um, um, we have like almost all of the published um, visual dictionaries and cross sections. Um, you know, it's, it's, we, we dive so deep sometimes mm -hmm. that we find things that you'd think everything in Star Wars would be named at this point. <laughs> it's not if you start trying to find the names of certain weapons attached to vehicles and things like that. So um, we'll go to LFL and like get, we'll get references for our artists to use and for our sculptors. Um, and we'll also ask like, hey, what is the name of this thing that we can't find the name of at all? And sometimes the answer is, it doesn't have one. What would you like it to be named? Ooh, there you go. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that is you cool. You get to like name weapons and things. And yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> they still have to like give a thumbs up. Yes, like, we're yes, not gonna, yeah. you know, We're just not going to be like, this is like the big gun or yeah, something. This, <laughs> guys, uh, his name is just Luke Eddy. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work. We call the Sting. Yeah. <laughs> no. um, so yeah, no, we, we definitely, we deep dive now. We try to have every uh, everything follow like what is... Um, canonical sure. if it's there, but you know the non-canon side of Star Wars is just such a rich resource and a lot of those things are um, yeah, They're not wrong. They just haven't been integrated into canon. There hasn't been a Rebels episode that's revived, you know, whatever yeah, So yeah. for example, the saber tank is is not it doesn't appear in any um, Direct te media technically canonical yeah. material. No, um, but it's such a recognizable vehicle and it's been in so many pieces of media that it's like general, it's accepted as this like, hey, this is one of the clones' iconic vehicles, yeah. um, and so that was you know that's that's where we go with some of that. Also, feels a really nice niche for Republic. You know. Oh yeah, they nice needed a, they needed a vehicle. That yeah, that kind of they have power. a lot of their vehicles that we actually see in the shows are very very big, and we <laughs> need something that was on scale that was sort of parity with the right. AAT, mm -hmm. yeah. and, and it looks cool too. It has a, like a For very, sure. like it fits the clone aesthetic. Yes. Um, and I think what would be cool too seeing on this one, obviously this is generally always gonna be painted like that, unless you go with the Clone Wars colors. Mm -hmm. But like that, you can paint to like match the battalion yep. colors you've mm -hmm. chosen for your um, clone army. So we'll, yeah. I think we'll see some cool paint jobs on that guy. Absolutely. Yes, uh, and now that you pointed that out, another question is, yeah. can we just see a tank strafe? And I think the saber is probably the best candidate oh, right sure, there. Yeah. Do you want to do a strafe? It's yeah. pretty sad. So you had to reduce your speed by one, sure. like as if you were reversing. So that'll go from speed two to speed one. Get this out of the way. Oh, you can bend the template during it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, just go ahead and, in fact, actually so walk like it uh, here. If you put it over here and then strafe like this way so people sure. can see. Yep. So you just put it in the side notch there. And you're going to pick it up and put the opposite notch. So hold down the little thing there when you. Sort of like right a barrel here. roll in X-wing. Yeah, exactly. But with the the, the ability yeah. to bend the template there, which there is you go. pretty cool. And, and that's a strafe. Yep. It's actually yep. a pretty powerful repositioning thing, is mm -hmm. it can both mm -hmm. redirect your arc and help you get outside of an arc. Which I mean, I don't think arc dodging is as much a thing in Legion as it is in X-wing, but yet it can be <laughs> well, a strategy. Um, terrain positioning. Yep. Yeah is important. So you might not necessarily be arc dodging, but there may be a situation in which I want to move to shoot these guys, but I don't want to get closer to these guys. Yeah. Or you I know? want to mask or, off a heavy weapon right, or yeah, something. Or I actually also want to get behind this piece of terrain. Sure. And that's where that strafing maneuverability comes in. Nice. Yeah. Well, we won't see any of these at the Legion Grand Championship at Las Vegas Open this weekend. No, but it but should still be a you will time. see me there. Yes. <laughs> you and out. Alex Davey. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, be some uh, FFG presence on the ground in Vegas. Cool. Yeah, I'm sure some that'll be streamed somewhere. I know a lot of it's it's, our, it's probably uh, a fan thing, if it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm sure maybe possibly Fifth Trooper or someone will be streaming there. from there. Absolutely. Yeah. So check that out. I've seen some of the terrain tables and things they've got going. It looks like it's gonna be a really nice, big, and awesome. exciting tournament. Do you know how many people they got for that? Is that up to... I believe two full days of 64, so 120. Nice. That's awesome. Wow. All right. X Wing yeah. is sitting at 200. And 50 for LVO. Very nice. Awesome. That's running, a, that is a huge increase for X-Wing. Destiny year, Grand yeah. Championships and L5R Grand Championships as well as Imperial awesome. Assault and Armada. So We're just taking over. Yeah. Big time yeah. show down there yeah. in yeah. Las Vegas. Very cool. Sounds so that's great. fun to look forward to. And then after that, we will have Worlds at Adepticon. Mm -hmm. Yes, we will. Mm -hmm. All right. And I think that'll do it. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank Good you, game. Nate. Good game. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Luke, for joining me yeah, today. thank you. Everybody, check out our website. We just posted earlier today the 